My name is Timmy Lua, and I'm a GIS supervisor. And I am Aziz Bokori, and I'm a GIS specialist. Geographic information systems is a fancy way of mapping, and it involves some spatial analysis, statistical analysis, and cartography, graphic design, and also some software development and web development. And all that comes together and takes mapping to the next level and involves it to present information to uh, audiences today and in the future. Well, basically, GIS is a system that allows you uh, to collect, uh, store, manage, and analyze the geographic data that is uh, data tied to a location. And uh, also, it allows you through analysis, allows you to study the environment around you and uh, the interaction between humans and their environment. Some of the main differences between a GIS professional and a cartographer is uh, the GIS person is kind of like the evolution of a cartographer. Uh, cartographers by training had a lot of knowledge about graphic design, strokes, fonts, and color uh, design, but uh, with a GIS specialist, we learn more into spatial analysis, statistical analysis, and using the software to extract information from the data that we collected. In our uh, daily job, we use uh, uh, ArcGIS suite of software, uh, which includes the desktop software that allows us to analyze data and produce maps. And we use digitizing of points, lines, and polygons. And then we collect all that information to store in a geodatabase, we curate it, and we update it. Some of the roles that GIS uh, plays in the community update process is we provide printed maps uh, of existing zoning and land use, and then we work with the planners to implement their vision of proposed changes. The community plan update requires planners to have a full understanding of their communities and uh, that's when we come in and we use GIS to provide them with, with tools to understand the existing conditions and then we implement their changes and so they can understand how those changes will impact uh, the future uh, population and things like job and housing supply. GIS also plays a crucial role in the public uh, uh, outreach uh, through uh, producing through maps uh, and uh, storm story maps. maps. The story map is one of the new tools that we have in our GIS uh, toolbox where we can provide an interactive map on the internet browser for the public to use and to discover what changes that the planning department is proposing for the community plan. Story maps uh, are updated based on what they're showcasing, based on the data being displayed in the story map. So if it's something that updates, they set it up to uh, be live and updated live. Uh, but if it's uh, a data set that updates quarterly, then we just update the story map every few months. For example, what typically happens is we prepare the story map and then the planners go to public outreach meetings, present the story map to the public, and then the public will get about a few weeks to understand and then they'll submit comments to the planners and the planners will come back to us and then we update the story map. GIS Day is a, a day to celebrate GIS. It takes uh, place uh, across the street from City Hall at Grant Park. It's uh, organized by the County of Los Angeles. It's a great opportunity for uh, the public to come in and see some of the great work we do. Uh, but it's specifically a, a great opportunity for students uh, seeking a, a career in GIS. If people are interested in seeing our maps, feel free to visit planning.lac.org and click on Map Gallery. I'm Timmy, and this is Aziz, and we are GIS Specialists.